When we get on a horse, it's just only too easy for the rider to take too much focus and energy down the arms. Let me just show you here. So we try and control everything from the moment we get up in the morning with our hands and our arms. And we get on the horse and we're like this and our energy is more, can be more fixed on the arms. And what I'm trying, you can see that Habil is not very happy with this. And what I'm trying to teach is, hey no, just relax, ride one handed for a moment. And collect with your, just connect with your core and your breathing. Okay, and the breath comes up. Have your breath. one part but we'll make some more with Sarah. You hear people talking about riding a horse into a frame and for me frames are static, they're for paintings. I like to think of riding the horse into a good natural posture and I begin with asking the horse to lengthen and stretch and work energetically through his spine and then naturally lower his neck. and feel the whole breath like we did on the ground in the yeah. stable ripple right through my body he may not sigh because he's not that tense yet <laughs> <laughs> and I just direct my energy I sigh deeply and if they've got any if they haven't got tension they won't mirror the sigh mm -hmm. if they have then yeah, it's a time that they will release yeah. so but it isn't you can't do a sigh if you think mechanically, I will sign now, huh, forget it. Yes, yeah. The horse um, will know that it's not a feeling. I'm trying to get riders to feel, to connect with themselves and pass it on to their horse. 